for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Cheese, as always. In today's video, I'm going to go over who had the best drafts as far as uh, Madden 23's rosters are concerned. If you're a CFM player, you just like to play online ranked head to head. These are going to be the teams that had the best drafts, that had the most young talent to basically either play with right away or build in the future uh, if you play CFM. Let me know in the comments section what teams or what players you're most excited to use. And other than that, let's go let's get right in the video. I'm a bit of a homer. I'm going to start off with the Eagles because I am an Eagles fan. Uh, and I love the draft that they had. They really only had two picks that I think will make immediate impacts on the team. Uh, and that's pretty much Jordan Davis, the physical freak out of Georgia. Guy's 350 pounds. He should have close to an 80 speed. The guy ran like a 4740. So I would imagine he has close to an 80 speed. and will probably have like a 90 strength. Now, they had got a complete steal in the Kobe Dean. I still don't really know what happened there. They said it was some sort of injury concern. The guy was a first round grade. And I imagine that he'll still have a very high, uh, you know, overall rating when the game starts even though he got drafted in the third round. Uh, but other than that, I mean, they also made a huge improvement, and I have to include this in the draft because they traded two draft picks for him. A.J. Brown, welcome to the nest. Devontae Smith was obviously a hit. Uh, pairing him with A.J. Brown is going to be huge. They have two great receivers, and the best receiver in Madden terms, as far as I'm concerned, is Quez Watkins, who's still really young. He's only 23, and he's a blazing 98 speed. I mean, next up, we got the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, if you had a lot of draft picks, you're going to easily make this list because ultimately, uh, that's one of the easiest ways to make this list. And I know the Chiefs probably took a step back because they did lose Tyreek Hill, but they got a lot of draft picks back, and they basically used it in a pretty good way. Uh, they definitely improved the defense. They went out and got Trent McDuffie, a good cornerback, George Karloftis, another defensive end. Uh, they drafted a replacement for uh, Tyron Matthew, although I don't know if maybe Tyron Matthew will be back, but they did draft Brian Cook. Uh, Leo Chanel, a really speedy linebacker. Um, you know, they have a lot of really good additions, and they also drafted Sky Moore. So those five picks alone give them one of the better uh, young drafts draft classes to basically bring on one of the better rosters and I think the Tyreek Hill loss will be mitigated quite a bit by guys like Nicole Hardman uh, guys like Juju Smith-Schuster they still have a lot of talent on this roster next up we have the Atlanta Falcons now this is the team that I think a lot of people are down on a lot of people think this might be the, the one of the worst teams in the league next year but they actually had a pretty good draft and I really like the team identity that they're building I mean you got Kyle Pitts everybody knows he's one of the best Titans in the game he kind of doubles as a receiver to be honest with you and when you pair him with a guy like Drake London which they took in the first round the guy it's also six foot four, 90 speed caliber receiver on the outside. You got a basketball team. If you like to go up and moss people, you have two really good options here. They also went out as a lot of potential speed and pass rush at linebacker. Guys like uh, Arnold, I'm not even going to try to say his name, but the defensive end out of Penn State looks like a good addition. And then they also went out and drafted one of the more athletic and raw linebackers in Troy Anderson. You can see here, they have him rated at a 92 speed. They already have Deion Jones. Uh, so if this guy's going to be any, anywhere close to that, you're going to have have a lot of speed on the front seven which so that plus Desmond Ritter which could be the quarterback of the future Next up, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars. This is a team who once again uh, had the first pick in the draft, but this year they went out and they drafted Trayvon Walker. He should have an impact right away for them. Uh, they also went out and drafted Chad Muma, who was supposed to be a really so I thought he was going to be a, a second round pick. Very good pick up there. And then they got Devin Lloyd, who in my opinion was the best linebacker in the entire draft. Next up, we got the Jets. This is another team that had a ton of draft picks. The last two years, they've had a ton of draft picks. I mean, I could go through this entire roster. Last year, they drafted Zach Wilson. Uh, this year they drafted Brees Hall. They also drafted Michael Carter last year. I thought made a pretty decent impact. I think Brees Hall will be a much better player as far as Madden turns because of his speed. And I think he's a bit of a receiving back. So his catching ability should be very helpful. Uh, you go to the receiving core. Elijah Moore had a great rookie year. They also went out and drafted Garrett Wilson. I don't think he'll be a 95 speed uh, because, you know, I mean, he, he I think he ran a 4.38 or something like that to combine. That's probably closer to like a 92, 93 speed, but he should be a solid prospect. Denzel Mims didn't do much, but he's still 6'3 uh, with good speed. He's still a guy you can work up. Then you go to the defensive line. They had three first-round picks this year, one of which was Jermaine Johnson. This guy slid all the way. A lot of people had him as a top-10 pick. He slid all the way in the draft. They picked him up at like 23rd. That's still going to be a guy, in my opinion, is going to be highly rated and a good guy coming off the edge. Next up, we have another team who's doing a really good job of building a young core when it comes to uh, you know the draft picks they made over the last two years, uh, the Detroit Lions. Aiden Hutchinson, to me, was the best defensive player, or the best defensive end, anyway, in the draft. Uh, the, the player that I really wanted 
wanted though the Eagles, I wanted the Eagles to get was Jamison Williams. I think he's without a doubt the best receiver in the draft. He's coming off an injury which kind of hurt his draft status, but I don't think anybody's gonna. That's not gonna matter when it comes to Madden. So to me, this guy here probably could be one of the fastest receivers in the draft. He's six foot two. I think he's got all the talent in the world. You pair him with young talent like Amonse Ra. You pair him with a young receiver like Amonse Ra, who had a really good uh, first year. They went out and got DJ Chark. Uh, they also have a really good young running back in DeAndre Swift. I mean, this team has a lot of talent. Panay Sewell, this is a team that's done really well over the draft the last couple of years. Next up, we have another team that had a lot of draft picks based off of the fact that uh, they traded away a star receiver and got some draft picks back. The Green Bay Packers, two first-round picks. I think they did really good with those two first-round picks. But Quay Walker, one of the you know speedier-looking linebackers coming out of Georgia, another guy that should make an immediate impact. Uh, the other guy that they got out of Georgia, though, is one of the guys I liked much more in Devontae Wyatt. Devontae Wyatt, to me, was the best defensive uh, lineman as far as a guy that can stop the run and get some pass rush. I mean, I really like that pick. It's another guy I wanted the Eagles to get. The guy that people are going to want to play with the most, though, is going to be Christian Watson. This guy's a really raw prospect, but he's super fast. He's six foot four. Next up, we got the Patriots. Now, this team makes the list despite their first round pick, which a lot of people really thought was one of the worst first round picks in the draft. I thought as far as Madden goes, though, they had one of the best second round picks in the draft when they moved up to number 50 to take the fastest receiver in the entire draft in Taekwon Thornton. This guy here, six foot three, 98 speed as far as listed here. I don't know if that's what's going to be when the game comes out, but he'll be somewhere in that range. 96, 97, it doesn't really matter. You added the fastest player in the draft. Next up, we got the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, this is a team that is known for being one of the best drafting teams year in and year out, especially when it comes to defense. Uh, and this year was no different. Kyle Hamilton essentially fell into their lap at I think what was it 14 or 15 doesn't really matter at the end of the day this guy's going to be a Madden favorite a guy a safety you can plug in and play anywhere on the field he's six foot four he should be rangy with speed he's an absolute playmaker he can hit he can do everything I mean this is guy this is going to be a guy that I expect to have a really popular card in Mutt as well uh, they also drafted Tyler Lindenbaum I mean, they got a center in the first round traded back in to get him typically centers don't go in the first round that just tells you how special this guy is uh, and then they also drafted David Ajabo another guy who would have been a high first round pick if it wasn't for the fact that he suffered an injury on his pro day pair him with Owa who they got in the first round last year and you have a lot of speed and pass rush coming off the edge in that 3-4 defense uh, and the Ravens continue to do big things when it comes to the draft next up we got the Texans I mean this is a team that's definitely headed in the right direction and it's hard to not have a good draft when you have so many picks they already had 10 draft picks coming into the draft then they make a trade with the Eagles to move back two spots and they add three more picks so they got 13 picks in the draft the best one to me is probably Derek Stingley this is a guy who's probably gonna make the biggest impact he's a cornerback he comes right into the league he'll probably be uh, one of the highest rated players even though he's coming off of a couple of down years due to injury I think his ceiling is super high uh, Christian Harris a really good coverage linebacker out of Alabama they got a first round guard in Kenyon Green who I'm sure will be solid a uh, receiver in John Mechie who I think is just kind of a guy I mean he's not very tall he's not very fast but he's definitely a good addition they need receivers uh, Jalen Petrie is probably the best safety in the draft as far as zone coverage he'll probably have the highest zone coverage coverage as long as he you know has decent speed he'll be a guy you can start for a very long time I mean this draft class is loaded because they had so many picks it's really hard not to make this list with that many picks so that's that's the vid tell me what you guys so that's that's the vid tell me what teams you guys are most interested in uh, in the comment section and if you want to see more videos like this leading up to Madden 23 and beyond hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching Mad Money Shit Out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below